So I've gotten this question a handful of times on whether I think WGU is worth it. Now I've done a good amount of content on my channel around online education and I'm a huge advocate for it. And this university experience is entirely online so it's definitely been on my radar some people believe that a degree from this university is maybe not so valuable while others think very highly of it so in this video i'm going to give you an overview on what wgu is all about discuss some of the finer points of the university and their philosophy and offer my final thoughts as to whether this is something you might want to look into for yourself as a way to skill up earn a degree and advance your career so stay tuned Hey folks, Richard Walls here and welcome to my channel where I help you with career development and personal finance. So if those two topics are interesting to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new content. So with that said, let's get to it. WGU, aka Western Governors University, has a pretty interesting story. It was established in 1997 after a meeting in Utah between 19 US governors. And in that meeting, it was determined that with the advent of this new technology that we call the internet, we should be able to expand and grow or evolve the way we offer education to students. This was especially important for people in more rural communities where brick and mortar universities were not really accessible, but also lower income communities where they perhaps had to work and couldn't afford to take time off to go to school full time. Not to mention, full time school was often very expensive to begin with. So really the goal here was to serve communities that weren't being effectively served by the traditional university or traditional education model. So it was established as an online university. And not only that, it was and still is one of the most affordable education options out there with tuition ranging from 3,500 to 4,500 per semester, depending on the program. And while different degree programs have different average completion times, what this translates to is roughly 10 to $20,000 worth of tuition or worth of cost to obtain a degree. But while we're on the subject of tuition, let's talk about what makes WGU unique in that respect. Unlike traditional programs where you pay by credit hour or you pay by class, at WGU you pay by the semester. Now what that allows the student to do is to have a little bit more control over the cost of their degree because they can choose to finish the program faster by completing more courses throughout the semesters. Now on a similar note to that, there's another interesting element to the way WGU views education and the education model, which is that the programs are all self-paced and they're all competency based. This means that there's less focus on how much time you spend in a class or how much time you spend learning the material and more focus on you actually knowing the material. For example, if you're in a career where you're doing accounting, then you go and decide to pursue an MBA from this program. One of the courses you'll have to take will be accounting. Now I'm gonna venture to wildly guess that if someone has been doing accounting for many years, but they probably know some accounting. You probably don't need to sit through a lot of classes like you would at a traditional university. And then of course you have to wait for the assessments to be made available to you. You take them, complete them. Here, if you know the material already, you can go ahead and take the assessments as soon as you'd like so you can complete the course sooner. Now the assessments themselves are proctored remotely, which means that you'll need to have a webcam on while you take the exam. So that's something to keep in mind if you anticipate any kind of technical issues and you just wanna make sure you have a good stable internet connection. Now, as I mentioned, the tuition fees vary depending on the program, but just to give you a preview of what it is that they offer. And by the way, one thing I really appreciate about the focus of this university is that they really focus on degrees for which there's a really strong job market. There's a lot of demand in the market for these skills. But you'll find four broad categories with a lot of degrees underneath them. So we've got business, IT, teaching, 
And then you've got health and nursing that's combined. So if you're very career oriented and looking at advancement opportunities, these degrees are really good options. But folks, let me know down in the comments below what you think of these degree programs and if these are something you're interested in pursuing. Also, let me know what your career goals are and how this or these degrees fit into the into the journey. So we've talked about tuition, we've talked about programs offered, but the question still remains, what is the value of a degree from WGU? Now for a program that's been around for about 20 plus years, it's built quite a solid reputation. One place I normally look to first is the accreditations. As I mentioned in other videos where I talk about online universities, which I'll put some links down below or in the card above that you can go and check out. But in my view, accreditations are more of a check the box exercise, which means if they have one or more accreditations from reputable accrediting bodies, then you should feel pretty confident about exploring that university as an option. In WGU's case, they've actually compiled a really impressive set of credentials or accreditations in this case, across just, I mean, the university itself, but across their different programs. But one note here is that they have a regional accreditation, which when it comes to universities, that's more or less the gold standard of accreditations. This is preferable to national accreditations, which I'll cover briefly in just a moment. But regional accreditations are what you would find with traditional universities that we're all familiar with that have been around for a long, long time, and it carries a lot of weight. And with regionally accredited universities, if you wanted to transfer in or out of the school to another regionally accredited university, the credits are nearly certain to carry over. Of course, you wanna check with the program first. I, I'm certainly not making any guarantees here, but again, that's one of the values is that you can usually transfer those credits over. That's not necessarily the case with national accreditations. And if you go on their website, you'll see a whole list of awards that they've accumulated for their efforts in online or distance learning. But one special mention I'll make because on my channel, I talk quite a bit about MBA degrees and well, now I'm, I'm going back to the accreditation topic. But one thing that's interesting here is that the business program has an ACBSP accreditation, which is one of the two main accreditations for business schools here in the United States. So it's a really strong signal of quality. From everything I've seen, heard, and read about the program, this university is a really phenomenal value. But one note I do wanna make is, in my opinion, there are some degrees that are a little bit more valuable than others coming from WGU. IT degrees, for example, that I see tremendous value in because what you're learning are typically hard skills, hard skills that you can then transfer into technical roles. Now business degrees or MBAs in particular, that's a little bit more challenging. There is obviously a big quantitative portion to what you learn in an MBA, but there's also a good amount of soft skills that are learned like leadership, management, and so forth. And because of that, competence is a little bit more difficult to determine for employers, which is why as a proxy to help determine that, there may be a little bit more attention paid to the business school that you earn the degree from. But with that said, I would recommend to not let that deter you from pursuing an MBA if you think it's going to help with your career. Because what I always recommend to anybody that decides to pursue higher education or pursue a degree, it matters less the school you got the degree from. It matters far more how you use that degree and leverage that in opportunities. And a lot of your success is going to come from the work that you've done, the experience that you've gained. And it also depends on your ability to network diligently and find areas where you can add value for other people and other organizations. And on the networking piece, WGU over the years has built a really healthy alumni network. So if you're looking to pursue a degree from the university, make sure to take advantage of the resources that they have made available to you, which includes the alumni network. In the fast growing world of affordable online universities, WGU, one of the originals, 
is on the list of universities to consider. So with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you around.